There are many ways to teach our children these days. One of it is storybooks. Storybooks have different types of formats, elements, genders, and also characters. And today I'm your TV host named Jane Maria. For our program, it's called Childhood Educators Today. So let's follow me and I will tell you my chosen storybook. The storybook that I have chosen is called Polly the Farm Puppy. As you can see from this cover page, it has googly eyes, which is very big and is also very, very fun to read for children at the age of 3 to 5 years old. This storybook is made of board book. It has 12 pages and also it is written by Adam Benz and it was illustrated by Craig Cameron. So now let us go and watch the video. This storybook is about Polly who is looking for her family in the farm. Polly met the horse, the pig, the cockerel, the spider, and the cow to ask for her family. Polly found her family after she looked around. This storybook is fiction and is very fun to read with easy text and colorful pictures. Children will love seeing the big googly eyes that will move around in this fun board storybook. It keeps the children entertained as it features a lively story and it's very easy to read for the children and very understandable for them. So now let's move on to the different types of storybook. Hello, my name is Ellie Farney and I will be presenting the pop-up style of storybook. A pop-up style of storybook is a three-dimensional illustration in storybook. The storybook that I have chosen is this. The title is Little Red Riding Hood by Horace Iskader. The origins of the story is from Europe in 17th century. It was published by Italian folk tales. Now let's get into the video. To summarize this story, it's about a little girl with a red hood who went to visit her grandmother. Along the way to her grandma's house, she met a wolf. The wolf took a shortcut to the grandma's house and then locked her up in the closet. The wolf pretended to be the grandma so that he can eat the little red riding hood. The woodsman showed up to come to her rescue and then the wolf ran away. They then have picnic together. As you can see, the pop-up book is really interesting for the children. The way how the characters seem to be alive makes the story easier to understand. The children will also focus to the story until the end. Pop-up book also teach the children about the value of visualization. Now, let's move on to another book. Hello, my name is Marceline Sikin. Today I want to tell you about my children's storybook. The title of my storybook is The Bravest Fish. This book has 32 pages. Where the cover page of this book is hard cover and inside the book is paper type. This storybook made by Matt Buckingham with genre is fiction and the format of this book is paperback book so let us watch this video together far below the waves a little fish named stanley lived in his school they are the brightest sparkless fish of the sea one morning stanley wake up late and the reef is strangely quick oh no where have all the other fish gone 
The journey of Stanley went to look for his friends begin. Stanley met lobster, thinking that the lobster is his friend. Then Stanley got cut up by a shark. Finally, Stanley found his friends. This story book suitable for six years old, where they can learn about the bravers. Also, they will know how to protect themselves in every situation. This book have picture and text where the kid will understand the story by reading book, this story book, and it's very colorful. And oh, have you finished watching the video? So let's go to another type of story book. Hi, my name is Prince Lauren. Today I want to tell you about digital storybook. Digital storybook can be downloaded it at App Store and very easy to get it. The storybook I chosen is the Tasty Crow. Let's watch the video. This book is suitable for the age 5 and above. It is very easy to read. It is a storybook on the go. There's a voice that will read for you. That's all from me. Now, let's go to the next one. Hi everyone, my name is Josia Awinti Bakius. Uh, today, I will introduce you to the book that I have chosen. The title of the book that I have chosen is Discovering the Secret of Plants. Come with me, I will tell you more about this book. This book has 18 pages and the, the cover of this book is hardcover. This storybook is published by Ali Lena Publication SDN BHD. The genre of this book is fiction. This book is about a group of children that wandering in the forest to, to find out uh, types of plants. Let's watch this video. This book is about a group of children named Jeff, Ben, and Linda. One day, they decide to walk toward a range of small hills. After they had walked a long time, the children came to the bank of a river. They built their tent near the river. After that, they ventured into the jungle. They saw many types of plants and trees. They got many experience during the venture. The benefit of this book to the children is the book contains moral value, glossary, and knowledge. This book is suitable for 5 to 6 years old. Other than that, this book is interesting to children because this book is colorful and the text is easy to read. So let's go to the next one. Hello everyone, my name is Kairu Nadia Binti Amia. So now let's get into the last type of storybook that I have been choose. So the storybook that I have chosen is the Witless Book. The title of the storybook that I have chosen is uh, The Lion and the Mouse by Jerry Pinky. So now let's get into the last storybook. This is the storybook that I chose, The Lion and the Mouse by Jerry Pinky. This storybook have 17 page and paper type. True wordless book. It contain little or no text at all. They have a real story to tell. Reader must interpret the story from the picture, examining detail and expression carefully. This experience help children focus on the sequence in the story and give them the opportunity to use book language. Some story in the wordless book are simple for 6 to 7 years old, but others are quite sophisticated and are meant for older children. Now you know about the wordless book. So now I will give 4 benefits that we can get from the wordless book. The first one, we can increase vocabulary. The second one, we teach comprehension. The third one, we support high level thinking. And the last one, 
we can challenge the imagination for the teacher and the children. Okay, that's all for me. Till next time. Bye! Thank you for watching Childhood Educators today. Till next time. Bye! Bye.